I'm Kunal Vijayka. It's that time of the year again when we hunt for the best of the best food in the country. Yes, it's time for the Foodie Awards 2014. And on the next few episodes, we are going around the country. Judging roadside dhabas, fine dining, Indian restaurants, coastal food and the rest. Join me as we set upon this journey to find the best food in the country. But before that, let's meet the jury. Author of 34 books, a television host, winner of the Gourmand World Cookbook Award and a name synonymous with good food for the last three decades. I don't eat to live, I live to eat. I travel around the world eating and judging restaurants. What is it that makes a great restaurant? Is it food? Is it service? Is it ambience? Or is it a combination of all this? Hi, I'm Rashmi Uday Singh. Come join us for the Foodie Awards 2014 as we eat our way through the country and we judge the best of the best. He's an avid traveller, a marketing maverick, and a gentleman never short of an opinion. Hi, my name is Suhail Seth. Welcome to The Foodie, unarguably India's finest programme on food, but more importantly, celebrating the flavours of our great majestic country. A former ad man, a prolific hotelier, a devoted foodie and the founder of Speciality Group of Restaurants. Hi, I am Anjan Chatterjee. Join me on the Foodie Awards 2014 Judy Special. So let's embark on this journey with our first category best international food and we're at the Trident Mumbai with me is obviously Anjan Chatterjee, Rashmi Uday Singh and the restaurant is India Jones. I believe the food is spectacular. You're looking forward to a good international meal? Absolutely yes. Yeah. And I've heard a lot about this place. Let's go and go to India Jones. Come on. India Jones has a little story, a little legend behind the name and the food in the restaurant. India Jones is a gentleman called Bharat Joy. Yeah. So they want us to believe. So they tell us, so yes. they tell us, yes. who's an avid traveller and a foodie. And the thing is, he was also a gambler. Now every time he lost, he would have to share one of the recipes that he collected on his wide travels. And every time he won, he would trade in for a recipe as well. And that's why all the recipes over here are based on India Jones, Bharat, the traveller, the avid traveller. So that's why today we have dishes from the different countries where this so-called Mr. India Jones, Jones visited. Has traveled to. Great, so shall we start? There are some of my favourite dishes here which I want you all to try. Okay, so here is my most favourite Thai pomelo salad. Light and healthy and refreshing. That's the mandarin chicken from the tandoor. That's the fish in uh, lemon chilli. Chef Joy's Creation, Big Joy. Yeah. And this is, of course, the Vietnamese. Would you like to try this? The Vietnamese spring roll. You start with the spring roll, I'm trying to start with this pomelo salad. The sauce. Need to dip it in that. What do you say? Fresh, very authentic. What's this wrap around? Lettuce, the crunch of the peanut. And the, and the peanut, yes. Now this, this too has a great crunch of peanut. I love this. 
It's beautiful. It's nice and tangy. It's got a little zing of chili in it. And it's so Thai. It's like literally Thailand on a plate, you know. I'm going to check one of these. Huh? Chef Joy. You have to try it. I know Anjana has been eyeing this saying that the chicken tikka hai. We're going to try it. I'm going to try some of the rengdang here. His favourite. Which is my favourite. This is the Korean set meal. Rashmi, tell us about this. It's a full meal as you can see. It has the bulgogi, it has the kimchi, it has a refreshing watermelon, it has a soup. And the good thing about it again is the pricing. I'm going to hit the bulgogi immediately. Very, very interesting, Jada. Very strong sesame oil. Sprouts and mushrooms. International quality. Really international quality food. And even the garnish presentation, everything. I think uh, there's some dessert here. My most favorite dessert. Hmm. What, what do you call this? Tab Tim Crop. So it's coconut milk with. Hmm. I think the experience we've had has been quite international and presentation-wise brilliant. There are few, very few restaurants in the city or even in India which serve authentic food from the different Indians. countries. Great. I think we're off to a wonderful start. Only things will only get better from here. India Jones, I think, can boast of one of the largest menus in the city. We have over nearly 200 dishes listed on the menu. And uh, I am really blessed to have a very skilled team who are actually uh, trained overseas and some of my expat team, expat team members who actually ensure that the food is authentic and the same flavors being delivered time in and time out again and again to maintain cons consistency. It's Anjan Chatterjee, Rashmi Uday Singh and myself. The category is Best Local Cuisine West. Maharashtra food turns you on very much. Rashmi? Very excited. Let's go. Okay. Everybody is very excited. Everybody is very hungry. Let's go. The place is called Me Maratha in Mumbai. Jai Maharashtra. Jai Maharashtra. I think we've got the whole of Maharashtra laid out on this table yes. at the moment. Not really. Oh God, she's going to comment. Not really, she says. <laughs> okay. Sir, what attracts you the most? What? Tamra rasa. Tamra rasa? No, for me, it's the pandra rasa. So we start with the kolaburi, tamra rasa and pandra rasa. We've got a lot of food at this table. We've got prawns, we've got a sukha chicken, we've got a bangra, which is mackerel ambo tik. Ambo tikot. Potatoes, bharli wangi, which is bagan, and fried fish served with uh, bhakris and vade. Oh. What is it with? Oh. oh. This, this tamra rasa is fabulous. Is it? It's it is mild, something? it's subtle, it's got pumpkin seed, it's got, it's got really, really lovely yeah. flavors. Try it. I'm trying it. This is super. Wow. It goes straight into my... Try this one. <clears throat> But you know what is really interesting? At least this was fabulous. You must try this. Let's begin with the vegetables. Aloo bhaji. Yeah. Tell me what you think of it. This is bareli wangi. Bareli wangi, which is bagel. And when we are finished with the vegetarian, I think we should. I have to attack the non veg stuff. I noticed. Mm. Very fresh. Mm. With the aloo bhaji, it's just. Divide. What I like about the adu bhaji is the ghee that it has in it. The zira, curry mm. patta, ghee. Very simple. It's a small 28-seater restaurant. Yeah. But I think, I think what is really important to point out mm. is that here we are in Mumbai, mm. capital of Maharashtra, and there are very few authentic Maharashtra Nitri. Sad. Yeah. So, sad. so this is great that we have this Mi Maratha. Great. The secret is to, to maintain this consistency, which is more of a legacy, 
fashion. It's not necessarily a money-making game. Mm. And let's raise a toast with soul curry. Just me marana. The category is best coastal, and we are at Vivanta President Mumbai, and the restaurant is the Konkan Cafe. They've changed the name. So shall we go in and check it out? Yes. Chalo, jai ho. When you say seafood, this is amazing. This is, look at the amount of seafood here. Let's just quickly have a look at what all we've got over here. This is of course the classic Konkani Komadi Vade, but this is crab done Kasargod That's style. It. This is prawns, Thetsa. Uh, then we've got a very interesting fish biryani over here. Mean biryani. Mean biryani, sorry. It's a mean fish biryani. <laughs> okay, we've got Tisra there. We've got sardines here. Let's go for it. Seems like I'm the only one left to talk because both Anjan and Rashmi have started eating long ago. Obviously. And you just took a break from eating it all. I know, I know. So, we are all attacking this wonderful looking food that is there on this table. I am starting with this crab claw, which is a killer crab. Mm. Same sound. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my god. The, the, the crab is absolutely authentic and it's, it's very focused. But the biryani, you know, it's very difficult to make a fish biryani. Sure. And when you eat the biryani, even without the fish, you get a the whole flavor of the fish. You know, done a That was your favorite? Yes, yes, I think. What is your favorite? My favorite is the tisra and the crab. And when you say it's the mapla cuisine, I've eaten in the best restaurants in Calicut. Yeah? And this is better. It's Absolutely. really good. And my favorite for the longest time has been something which you don't get everywhere done to perfection, which is ishtu and appam. Two and appams. Yeah. Freshly made, you know, crisp on the outside, spongy bellied appam. You know, that is Ananda Solomon's real genius in the detailing. When you enter this restaurant, they ring a temple bell. Mm. You know, so he kind of take, and then look at all the chutneys, the profusion of papas, you know, he does amazing stuff here. There doesn't seem to be any argument between the three of us. We're too busy eating to argue. Yeah, so what, is, what is probably the best yeah. coastal food in this country? This is a meal that has uh, rung my temple bells up here. And joining me on this leg of the Foodie Awards 2014, along with the Empress of Food, Rashmi Uday oh Singh, goodness. is a man I'd like to introduce as first an actor, a writer, a marketing genius, an advertising genius, a world traveler, and a man with a hell of a lot of opinions. So I'll say, <laughs> welcome, Thank you. welcome, Thank you. and Delighted. me. Yes, my darling. Wonderful to be with you. Well, do you feel? How do you feel about being on the, on the Foodie Awards? I love the Foodie as a program. I think it does what it's meant to do, which is celebrate food, celebrate passion, and celebrate the people behind it. So it's such a joyous uh, time to be here. So let's celebrate and salivate. So now we are at the temple of what I would call butter chicken in Delhi. In fact, I think it's it's India's finest butter chicken. And I'm willing to go completely with what Soil says. In the category of best non-vegetarian food, he's recommended this place, he swears by it, and I don't want to ask any questions after that. And here's to this temple. Amen. <laughs> so let's go in and check out butter chicken a la Soil said. <laughs> Ah, 
that particular thing is called a chicken pakoda and these are seek kebabs yes so well, shall we just start digging in absolutely i think the butter chicken is on its way but we're too hungry so we just go go for it I'm going to start with the sink kebabs. It looks luscious, podgy. It's crunchy and surprisingly very moist inside. People travel from all over to have this. Now that is kulcha with mince, with mince lamb, keema. The legendary butter chicken. Big, big pieces of chili and things in it. Yeah. Roti. Mmm. Look at this hot steaming. Mm. I have always been a complete fan of butter chicken in Delhi in particular. Unlike in Mumbai or anywhere else, you know. And this is just too good. Isn't it amazing? It is. Mm. The butter chicken here goes. Full mouth is butter chicken. It's really creamy and delicious, and it's the freshness of the tomato coming through. Yeah. Fun, That's it. but the strange thing is the classic butter chicken has kasuri methi, and they don't use that here. That's why it's so yeah. flavorful because yeah. there's no other flavor interfering. Mm. Steamer kulcha. Mm. Wow, amazing, huh? Mazaa. What I'm really happy about is that even the rotis are equally excellent. Yeah. Out of all the nominees that we've visited up till now, this one big satisfying Indian meal that I've had. Wholesome, satisfying. Wholesome butter chicken. Sinful. And roti <laughs> has been here. And I'm so happy. I'm glad you guys have eaten as much as you have. <clears throat> I'm continuing to eat, and I suggest you keep watching. It's nice, chilly, and wintry in Delhi, and we are all set to eat a fine dine Indian meal at probably what I consider the finest Indian fine dining restaurant created by Marut. And I think Marut Sikha has brought a lot of magic, a lot of passion. A lot of hard work. He's even lost weight in the process, which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? We can't prejudge. We have to go in and check yes. out the food, the service, the ambience, and most importantly, the consistency. Correct. So let's go. Category: Best Indian Fine Dine, Kainush, New Delhi. So this is like a feast meant fit for a Maharaja or a Nawab. There's so much of wonderful looking Indian food on our table. It's, I'm happy you said this, that this is a feast fit for a king. Because Kainush is the private dining room of a king. Is that what That's it is? That's what the name means, ah. yeah. I don't know this. Okay, I'm saying rather than admire, now it's time to eat. We're yeah. all hungry once again. Once again. So let's, so let's begin with a Banaras Papri Ki Chaat. Yep, lovely. Looks delicious. Just brilliant. I love the crunchiness. Mm -hmm. And one would have thought that the best chart is on the streets. But you're sitting in a fine dining restaurant. See, the trick with these kind of restaurants is you have to focus. I mean, look at this thali. It's so tempting. I know. Everything's going to be so good that you've got to focus on something that you really you like. like. What do you really like? I love the lal mas. Oh. I've got to say, no prizes for guessing. So I think we should just attack now. And the biryani. These were the Malwadi prawns. Mm. The Dalmas. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Even the spice levels are just right. Because Lalmas is supposed to be a fair, fiercely fiery dish. I want to try this Lalmas. It's got the right amount of fire. Like I always say in Hindi, 
यू नो वेन यू गलाउ द मटन मटन गलना विच मीन्स अ सॉफ्टनेस इज डैम डिफिकल्ट कैन बी आई द वेरी गुई और वेरी हार्ड दिस जस्ट जस्ट राइट दिस इज जयपुरी मटर आई एम नाउ जम्पिंग टू द दही तड़का तड़का दही सो इट्स वॉट जस्ट हंग कर्ड विद तड़का फ्लेवरफुल इट्स सटल एंड द क्वालिटी ऑफ द मीट and the rice and the rice together together great jugar bandi most importantly kunal it's the only indian fine dining restaurant which isn't housed in a hotel yeah otherwise indian fine dining is almost commensurate with hotels sure so here you are outside you're in the heart of delhi in such a brilliant location look at the look at the filigree work the the jalis wait i so so i think kainush um is scoring really high on definitely food also ambience and style and presentation of course there's one more thing left to do is a little bit of dessert Awards 2014 have brought us to Jodhpur and Rashmi. Are you excited? I love Jodhpur and this lovely, cool, sunny climate here. I just love it. Umair Bhavan Palace welcomes us to Jodhpur as Rashmi and I go on a journey to find the best food in Rajasthan. <laughs> category is indian fine dining and honestly it doesn't get finer than this i agree with you just look how fabulous this place is and that restaurant i can't wait to get in there yes this is the central dome area of the ummed bhavan palace the restaurant we're heading to is called risala and we're hoping to get expecting and we're quite sure that we're to get an absolutely fine dining meal over there let's go Sitting here in Risala takes you back to a time of splendor, grandeur, royalty, and elegance, doesn't it, Rajmi? It's like stepping back centuries. I just love this place, and just this whole feeling of peace and quiet, and getting ready to attack this elegant silver thali. Full royal meal, in front yes. Of us, Gold-plated cutlery. Superb. The sula and the butha, their version of the kebab. Let's start with the lamb. Oh my god. Mm. It's that butter this is that. Exquisite. This thali, this maraja thali. Yeah. You begin with the non-vegetarian and steadily work your way towards the vegetarian. Now once again the jungli mas. Jungli mas, okay. Bab ji's favorite. Mm. It's again the famous Mathania chilies. It's brilliant. And I'm so happy. That's a flavor which is beyond this Mughlai and Punjabi food flavor. Oh, this we have to try the white mutton. First, the white mutton. Okay. Okay. 
with the vegetarian. Hmm. Yeah, but this one will this one will appeal to you a lot. This chakke ka saag. I like this tomato. Suddenly, it's like a refreshing. Yeah, it's like a break. sorbet in the middle, you know. Mm. And it's got a sweetness mm. to it. This tomato. Okay, let's try some of this kabuli pulao, no? Yes, it's actually like a gatta ka pulao. How do I? I don't want to sort of undermine. Are other nominees, hmm. but this is indeed truly fine dining in terms of the ambience where we are actually sitting inside a palace with correction whole service being inside a palace we took 14 years to build. Sure, okay. With a service that's truly fine dining. How fine can you get, my dear? You can't get finer than this. And in conclusion, to a fine meal, a fine dessert. And it's so fine; it has gold and silver work on it. Superb. Rose petal ice cream, malai ghee, and guess what? The rose petal ice cream is made from roses grown in the Maharaja's own garden. In the garden. See? Doesn't get better than that. Oh, mm. lovely ghee, lovely malai. Salutations to the chef. This meal has truly been, for me, one of the finest in every which way. Absolutely. Well, the category is Indian fine dine. This is indeed a fine dine, if I may call it that. We're at the Umed Bhavan Palace, Jodhpur. The restaurant is Rizala. In a really old Haveli for a category that is my favorite. Right. It's best local cuisine this time in the north. Right, and it's lovely and it's cool and it's fabulous. And we're going to sit on a terrace. I'm dreading the long walk up. <laughs> and this restaurant is called Indik, named after the host of the owner, 250 years old Haveli, mm -hmm. fourth generation, and the recipes too are going to be very ancient, very, yes. old, traditional yes. Rajasthani recipes. So let's go. It's called Pal Haveli Restaurant in Dik, the category Best Local, local cuisine. cuisine North. Asmi, what do we have? I have to tell you that this one is the one we have to begin with. Okay. It's handi bhoot, uh -huh. like the bhoot, the ghost. Ghost. <laughs> yeah. And you have to have this handi bhoot, this chicken uh -huh. with rum, dark rum. Seriously? That's the way they do it here. Is that what's in your glass? And yes. And it's called bhoot because it's smoked with cloves. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. oh, this is beautiful. It's a cheers to the first morsel of. Pure Hindustani food on this trip. This is lalmas, lalmas, khata meat, khata meat, and the two vegetarian predictable ones. The kheer sangri and the gatte ki sabzi. Gatte ki sabzi. Yeah. Good. I'm going to okay. start with this khata meat. Can I confess something to you? I know you guys tease me for my non-vegetarian palate. Carnivore. Yeah, but I really like gatte ki sabzi. Really? Mm. I'll tell you why. Mm. Because it's not really a sabzi. <laughs> I'm absolutely fascinated mm. by Rajasthani cuisine. Fascinated by it for years. The fact that they are short on water and on fresh vegetables. So what do they do? They cook all their vegetables in dahi mm. and ghee. I mean, they all their dishes. Mm. So out here, out of five dishes, four are cooked in dahi, yogurt based. And also, if you notice, the two vegetables, so-called vegetables, yeah. are either dried. Yeah. Or made out of gram flour. That's the now can I have the lal mas? I knew you'd come to that one. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Come on, I'm getting influenced by him. Lal mas. I'm getting influenced by him. Now I'm beginning to salivate over. <laughs> This is a spectacular Rajasthani beer. It feels really young over here. Mm. The Haveli is 250 years old. 
that Mairangar fort over there is 450 years old. So I'm really quite young. <laughs> With the Mairangar fort right behind us over there, yeah. it's time to move on to the next thing. <laughs> Yes, our next category, best debut restaurant. Anjan Chatterjee and I are in Juhu at the Spare Kitchen. And this is an interesting place, Anjan. I, I, I really like the openness here and I think the kind of cuisine it serves yeah. is really interesting. Yeah, and I think that something over here is something that they call interactive right. and progressive. So I think the best thing for us to do is get to the table and experience it. Action. Yeah? So a lot of food on the table. Lots of food, yeah. I must say. That, and, and, and this looks fantastic. Look at the presentation, yeah. Kunal. I mean, I must tell you that this is not the way you know you're, you're used to it. So what they're doing is that they're creating a differentiator right on the table, right? Absolutely, the absolutely. Well, yeah. Completely soup shot is a new thing. It's a good idea. Great and idea. Speaking of shots, you know, this is your Mera Rang de Basanti Chola. <laughs> But this is like eating on the rasta of Mumbai. So you've got a little bit of pav bhaji, vada pav, mail puri and pani puri. May I? Cheers, sir. Cheers. Jai ho. Terrific. Very good. But you've got this fairly large space here. Uh, pricing wise also, I think, means, means it's all priced within, say, 495 to 500 rupees, which is a good price. Absolutely fine, because you know, one of these fills you. So absolutely. the starters give you a chance, you can share, the sharing is there. So there's absolutely balanced uh, menu. This is Malbari Mutter or an Uttapam. Mini Uttapam. What is it? It's a Malbar ka masala. I think we've got one more Indian thing left, which we can just have a quick look at. Oh, the age old biryani. With the biryani. Very nice. Parde wala. Parde wala. Parda hai parda. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Hi, wow. You got a biryani at one end. You got a Sri Lankan curry at the other, mm -hmm. which is a wannabe Sri Lankan curry with fish in it. I like the wannabe. Yeah. It's wannabe because yeah. it's got madras curry powder in it. Achha. Yeah. Aha. Coconut ka base. Coconut base hai curry ko. Creamy hai. Not bad. Ye to chai ka gilas hai kunal. Chai hai. Yeah. Chocolate hai. So this spoon with the chocolate goes into the chai and Mami. becomes a chocolate chai. And the spoon starts melting. Interesting, no? So they've got this thing about desserts where you get a variety of tastes, especially that one with the banoffee pie, which has been sort of taken apart. You want more interactive, more interactive. Besides the food being quite nice, the presentation the presentation is great, fantastic. The space is good. The ambience, look at the elbow room. Yeah. I really love it. It's yeah. to spread very well. Yeah. And we have an outdoor there. So that's outdoor, little lounge area. And the price points are good. Very good. Very I think good. it's a great contender for best debut restaurant. Absolutely. And Anjan agrees with me. Fully, fully. Let's move on. Move on. So, Anjan? We have Gajali. Gajali, mein aage. yours and mine favorite. Favorite because the purana category favorite. Purana, purana. Uh, the category is best seafood. Absolutely. And this place is known for its seafood. Action karna hai aur pe khana khana hai. Chalo, to action karte hai, khana khate hai, aur thoda judging bhi karenge uske. Of course. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Chalo, let's go. Chalo, sir. Let's Chalo, go. Come on. I'm going to start with this, the crab. Okay, this is a tandoori crab. Excellent. Look at the freshness. It is, it is. 
Fantastic. Excellent. Very well cooked, balanced. Oh, oh, oh. This stuffed Bombay duck is supposed to be spectacular. My God. You have the Bombay duck. I'm going to attack the curry, the Please. prawn curry. Arjun, whenever we talk coastal cuisine, the one thing that is common to the coast is seafood and coconut. Hence, the curry becomes a very integral part of... I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm going to try the fish seek kebab. You never get a fish seek kebab which is so soft. Yeah, and it's still firm. Absolutely, yes. This is the classic. Rava, 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 rava fry. fry. Consistent. Perfect. My co-jury member, Anjan Chatterjee, has stopped talking because he's eating now. Bus, uh, one more category down. Let's see what's coming up after this. Another category, another nominee, this time Best International Cuisine. And the nominee is... China House. At the Grand Hyatt Mumbai. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so we're starting with the beggar's chicken and then we're going to proceed to attack this whole table which is full of food. It's a unique method of cooking this. Slow cooking for hours. Now the duck which has been beautifully carved, skin and bone. This is easily the best peking duck in town. We start with the skin. Lovely. Crunchy. Here goes. Perfect. Shanghai soup dumpling. It's got soup inside it. Really? Pop, you go. It's wonderful. Mm. It's really nice. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Let me lamb shank for you. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Obscene looking lamb Obscene shank. Obscene looking lamb shank. Please notice the. The spice levels are really, really high on this one. After the food here is from Sichuan and Beijing. Mm. Okay, now this is chicken Prawns. with red dry chilies. I love it. My kind of food. Dry, nutty, crunchy. Look at the wonderful, vibrant colours on the plate. Absolutely. You've got you know? the reds, the greens. Mm. And this, look at this. And nothing, nothing is overcooked or you know, made into a bland, pale mess. And the decor of this restaurant is beautiful, isn't it, is. it vibrant? It is. Yes, the category is Best International Food. This is China House, Grand Hard, Mumbai. Rashmi and me signing off on this one. The category is Best Non-Veg Food and with me is, of course, Rashmi Uday Singh. Rashmi, we are the JW Marriott. The restaurant's called Saffron and it's for the best non-veg food. And I can see he's already salivating. Chop, <laughs> chop, chop, chop. But you know what? This restaurant has amazing variety of non-vegetarian food. Okay. And what I love about it is they get everything from Lucknow. Do you mean the ingredients and everything? Yes, everything. Let's go. So we've got a huge amount of non-vegetarian food here, Rashmi. I know, yeah. and you're so happy. Lots of meat, lots of kebabs, gravy, rotis, the works. So let's just begin with what is made for you. You tell me. For the toothless nawab, here the it is. Toothless nawab, okay. <laughs> galotti. Okay, and the gal galotti Soft has, and scrumptious. Been, has been served on its own barki paratha. I'm going to use my fingers if you don't mind. Oh, very nice. I love the kebab chini flavour in it, mm. which comes bouncing through. Mm. And of course, the texture. Next in the series, yet another melt in the mouth kakori kebab. Can't have that kakori kebab without the ulta tawe ka paratha. Thank you. I love the way Here Rashmi, you are. Rashmi actually 
serves all the food out. Obviously, you are Nawab Sahib. <laughs> what do you expect? You will be very happy with this one. The Arab will lift one just off like this. Champara. <laughs> Look at <Chambara>. that. <laughs> Again, for me, this bara kebab is the potli masala. I love it. it's rich, succulent. Look at the sheen on this. This is the main thing about this nihari, right? Mmm. I like this nihari. The sticky gelatinous mm. Mm. consistency. Absolutely. And in this case, this roti works brilliantly with it. Mm. Yeah, because you need this roti to mop it up. Yeah, right? absolutely. Can you get the fragrance? Okay. Zafran. It's nice. Mm. It's aromatic. The meat is really nice and tender. No, cooked well. So Rashmi, all in all, from your expression, I can make out that you've had a good non-vegetarian meal here. Yes. Hmm? What is great about this restaurant is it's a part of a hotel which is very brilliantly located in Juhu. Hmm. And it's got a very kind of eclectic, comforting kind of ambience, which is great. And also the whole gamut of the food being from subtle to really robust. Mm, great, and I think uh, Rashmi said it all. I think this food made me really happy. But there's more coming up. Let's see what's coming up after this. We're on our way to Ali Bagh for a restaurant called Sanman. The category is Best Local Cuisine West. This is what is called a great local meal, especially with all this wonderful seafood in front of us. Look at this crab. It's as big as me. <laughs> this is crab, lobster, fish. This is this is I'm going to start with the kalwa. I just I love kalwa. To die for. To kill for, you mean? To kill for. Should never miss the insides. The sweet flesh of the crab, not at all overpowered by the masala. By the masala. How's the fried fish? Crisp rice, butter, brilliantly done. Heavy, my god. Where's the ton? And this is the wonderful flesh that is coming out of the. Perfectly cooked. I'm becoming like you. Look at your plate. You've got more food than me. How local can you get? The papar, the rice, everything is local. Even that rice, that red color rice. Mm, I love red rice. It's a coastal town. So the emphasis on seafood is huge. Now, I want to try my this soup. So, what do you like the best? I want to say three things about this place. It's truly, truly local. Okay, the seafood, everything is also from just around the corner. It's the thalis I love. You know, the pricing, the thali, the taste, it's terrific. Homemade. I've been eating here for a while and the taste hasn't changed all these years. Just because they've renovated and made it new, the taste still is spectacularly good. Oh, I think we've got a winner here.